Happy Orana everybody, welcome to July 2015 Earth Prediction Series with me. You can see in front of you all the cards that were um, selected or not selected but decided to arrive themselves for the reading of July. We generally start over on the left hand side and then work our way through the cards and I often think that even indicates perhaps the passage of time that these events or you know the kind of feeling or energy that the cards give off that's the time of the month that they may show up as well so um, we have interestingly enough these two cards that were in June's reading as well and often when they show themselves up in a pattern month after month they have a double effect meaning so their meaning or energy appears or feels to be stronger if we start the card on the left the liberation card I have often associated it with uh, the feeling of Australia and issues to do with Australia so I think of um, the, the snake basically is what does that for me because Australia has so many snakes there so I often think of Aussie and I think of if you look in the background there are two people fleeing on the back of a horse and there's rapid water going underneath a bridge in the back of the picture so I often think of fleeing situations and it can be to do with weather related situations such as floods or you know, immense storms, water that surges and it can even literally be something like the feeling an inland tsunami might create. It can also be fleeing things for various other reasons and we think to the possibility of fleeing areas or running away from something in a hurry where there's panic involved so it could be even terror events or something along those lines there's also the doors there in the, in the scene there's this wooden door here and there's this one that seems to be about to shut down so somehow doors or the feeling of being locked into something or um, hidden behind a door also comes into feeling with this card we move on to the next card and we see the fool and we had him here in June and there was a rather horrible event of a mass um, murder that, that occurred in America and the person who committed the shooting had a haircut almost identical to this person in the card, the fool. He boy that was the perpetrator in the mass shootings that was involved with the church um, and his surname was Roth or Roof and we have this house here teetering on the edge in the background and I kind of categorise the church as being that house so we get again the feeling of potential unfortunately random events with perhaps are carried out by disturbed minds and these two cards are sitting together and they were in June's prediction as well and the father card was sitting up here above these cards below so I think that energy may be manifesting itself still for July um, also the fall has in the past led me to think of earthquakes or houses teetering on the edge of something that's creating them to topple over and that can be flood waters again or it could be quaking and shaking related when we move to the Father card, we see him pointing up to the sky, so we know it's about looking to the heavens, looking to the skies, following patterns of observation on celestial bodies one way or another, whether they be the movements of these celestial bodies such as planets or asteroids or meteorites, or um, new informational technology coming to us about these objects or space, as well as objects falling from space such as um, meteorites, asteroids, planes, uh, satellites, things like that. That's the feeling that that card initially gives but we do look at the fact that there is um, artillery involved and weaponry and they are in the stance of aggression and fighting and that's why that card has the warrior feeling about it as well and warring tendencies and I did mention in June's prediction that there could be that feeling up through Europe area so perhaps for July it still carries on in those particular areas 
we come to the tower card and the tower again has the feeling of Europe and because we look at these very old classical castles really on the globe most of those buildings are up through that part of our land and I sometimes think of Italy in particular so I'm not sure what that could mean for Italy is it floods or storms or political something along those lines but keep your eyes and ears open for that it could be areas surrounding Italy as well and I often do think of quakes with the tower card I think of it because of this land rising the libido card often when it turns up which is this one here indicates uh, rapid surging waters so we've got a few of these rapid surging waters we've got one two and three and so indication of um, floods you know quick flowing water that's rapid and moving um, rocks involved in it so it can be landslides again we so something created in a big weather storm and it creates immense movement and quickness of pace and the other thing that the card suggests are animals you can clearly see the animals there in it there's also a second snake involved um, and the peacock here two peacocks so I think of animals um, being affected one way or another on the planet we the other thing that the libido card can bring out are mass compassion events one way or another so sometimes these can be positive mass, com mass compassion events such as big celebrations and if we think of that the peacock's tail looks a little bit like fireworks going off and I know for July it's America's Independence Day on the 4th of July and that there are big celebrations involved around that time so sometimes we pick up on those celebratory events you know big gatherings where mass jubilation and excitement and activity occurs the other thing that the libido card can pick up on are mass compassion events which is the complete opposite so events that do occur that create just huge heart swelling compassion from everywhere around the globe just feeling loss and sadness for events that could occur and sometimes sadly it can have to do with um, shootings you know mass shootings up in areas like the USA or Canada or even up through that um, Swedish Norway type area we'll have to keep our eyes on it now the last card that turned up was the reversed wheel I have yet to understand what that could mean we know if we turn the wheel around we talk about cyclical periods in life or the cycles of the universe the cycles of the planets um, and as well as quick waters you know flowing waters flooding that type of activity so what the reversed wheel actually means is going to require some input from everyone really keeping your thoughts open and giving your input to as to what you think the card might be it's a, it's a difficult one I've been pondering on it for a week or so thinking you know what exactly does it mean and my best thoughts are that it's um, something reversing in time so do we backtrack on something in time are we wanting to withdraw something that we're already up to and wish it hadn't happened or do we go back in time and look at a point to figure out why we're where we are now or how to move forward from it it also is it something about the planets that we find out um, is information that perhaps we've been led to believe for a long time that suddenly we go oh well wait a minute that was all wrong it's something along those lines it could be with the water is it water that's falling as opposed to flowing because if that water's upside down it might be falling somehow so a bit of a conundrum with the reversed wheel it's got a number that adds up to eight so the number eight is a cycle of life number as well so we do get the feelings of cycles and somehow <laughs> the reversal of some sort of cycle so anyhow guys that is the July reading I thank you all for following, leaving your comments 
and your thoughts and interpretations of the cards as well. I think these series are very pertinent to the changes that are taking place on this planet at the moment. We know that in June the Pope uh, put out his encyclical, I think it's called, about climate change. Um, Barack Obama speaks with David Attenborough on the climate change issues. So we are coming up more and more uh, in our faces and having to accept that this planet is changing and it's changing rapidly and we all have to find ways of getting a solution and coming to understand and come to grips with what exactly is going on. I firmly believe it's not just our planet that there's more happening than we understand at this point but for sure as humans we need to be more um, in harmony with the way we live on the planet and how we treat our precious resources because this is our only home and without it we don't exist so that's my feelings on the whole um, planet and the climate change issue so thanks again guys kia kaha and much aroha to you all be safe and have a great july